welcome back to Ash Adorable and um, I'm actually prepping for a trip this time so I'm probably going to be packing away things or finding things already packed away. Anyway, stay tuned, we're going to make some magic happen on this face. Alright. <laughs> Alright, so first we're going to moisturize. Got my Mary Kay overnight. I have extra dry skin, so I need it in my life. Just a small little bit. Right on the tip. Oof. Going through my trouble zones area and then spreading it out. I actually exfoliated last night too. Um, so that's kind of funny, but I'm still finding a little bit of dry spots. But it's all day. So we got that all nice and prepped and cleaned. I already washed my face before this, which is good. It looks all glossy. I'm gonna try something a little different this time. I'm gonna use a little bit of red on some of my darker spots to see if maybe that will help bring down the look. And blend it out. I didn't know this as much as you didn't know this. I've really never done it before, so I figured why not try it while I'm on camera, right? <laughs> I always heard the technique of red lipstick works, so I'm gonna try these, uh, my favorite, Wet n Wild. I know it's his favorite, but it's just what lasts so long, so long. Wet n Wild. It's called Red Velvet. 910D. I do want to flip this upside down. I forget. I do backwards look. Okay. So I probably should do an applicator instead of just tapping it on like I was about to. So I can take this little brush, get it on there. I don't like having my lipstick all the way out. It freaks me out. But it's alright. <laughs> don't press too hard. I've broken so many lipsticks before. It's actually pretty helpful. It's going on actually pretty well. So far, so good. I got some kind of disease, but <laughs> it look even better than this. I hope. Okay. All right. I think I got all the little dots. Mm. I'm so troubling. You got all these dots on my face. <laughs> so I'm gonna actually conceal this or set this first, and then I'll go in with another concealer. You're trying this out with me, so we'll find out together. I watched a tutorial about doing this before, like once. So <laughs> we are really experimenting today. Now I'm going to eyebrows. So I can go back in with my big brush concealer. So eyebrows first. So we're gonna use my Amuse eyebrow dip. I love it. I decided to try it out. I got it from Miss A. If you've never been to shopmissa.com, check it out. Everything's a dollar. Well, almost everything, unless you get packs, of course, or brushes. Multiple brushes, that is. This one first, see how it looks, and then I'll we'll see if I should extend the other breath. The one time I decided to zoom in on technique, it looks crappy. <laughs> I have no clue what I'm doing. Mm -mm. FYI, when I look up and look back down, it's very blinding. So a lot of times I'm making lens like, please be in the right spot, please be in the right spot. I think I like where it's at. A little higher than I usually go. But I like the look, so I'm gonna stick with it. The bees like that sometimes. Bees like that. <laughs> um, let's see. Um, yeah, I probably put that away already. Adds yeah, just so I'm using that Dermacol. I'm gonna look for another concealer to start using though. I mean, I do have my stick concealer, but yeah, I'm gonna try this for right now because it works. It didn't at first. At first, I was really petrified. I was like, this is way lighter than my complexion. What I do with it, and they're like, make it work. I was like, you know what? I will. I was like, oh, okay. That's how it will be today. So there was no helping me out. This was the darkest they had for a concealer. So there are some benefits for at least go and sort of find out like what your concealer or color is. <laughs> there are some benefits. At least find that out. And then from there, you can shop online, you know? Also go to foundation.com and they will tell you a guesstimate of what's closest to your complexion or to your um, foundation or concealer based on the ones that you already use. I tried it, I just have to go in and actually pick up and or try the foundation they match me with. So we'll see, I'll review and let you know. I noticed that when I try to go over the concealer where the red already is, it doesn't work as well. So I'm not gonna do that again. It doesn't look that great. It starts smudging together, like in that nose area. Which is a big signature dark spot for me at least. Let's not double the protection the way I was hoping. Oof, any windows for days on the nose. <laughs> no pun intended there. <laughs> Alrighty, so I did that. So that's really nice and concealed. 
how I'm gonna end up setting this concealer is mostly with the brush I'll be using. I'm thinking about if I did any under eye. Mm, no, it's okay. This should work. It doesn't look right, but it works. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna go in for the eye makeup and we're going to use the Festival by Juvia's. Festival by Juvia's. Look at these gorgeous colors. I don't know what to wear today. I'm mainly wearing black today, so I might actually do Ofala and no. Umanu. Umanu. Oh, they look pretty. We're gonna start as our base with a no. Those two oranges, basically. I think that'll be nice. So that's the base color. It's really nice, bright, happy color. I just love how happy it looks, though, for real. So bright, so happy. All right, um, I'm gonna go back in with La Falo, and that's that, like, darker, deeper orange. It's like, instead of two chains, I got two tone. <laughs> I mean, I could do five colors, but I really could do that and do some cut creases. I could. So we're gonna do a little bit of that, some of this um, Juvia's highlighter. I know, it's open, that's why I didn't do that. Okay, one more again. So I use that Juvia's highlighter. It's um, called the Royalty 2 by Juvia. I'm gonna take just really a little bit because it gets really heavy fast. And we're gonna take that highlighter and put it right underneath. That was a touch, by the way. See how much it's coming out? Just to highlight it some, nothing crazy, nothing outrageous right now. My brow, get some definition. I did, I did. So because I went heavy, I'm gonna have to go back in and touch up. See what I mean? It's heavy fast. Like I'm weird, I use the same MU's dip with the same angled brush and I go in. Thank you. I hope you knew that this whole time. <laughs> That's all I do. I mean, you can use liquid eyeliner, of course, like a separate one. I found it so much easier for using something that's really using a dip. So what that was, not that I'm really great at wings, but it was is I was just tipping at it, and then it was like, go here. I was like, okay, guess we're going there. <laughs> but it's more just looking symmetric anyway. So that's what the eyes look like right now, really. That's how it looks. I'm gonna put some mascara on and then I'm gonna put foundation. This is also Maybelline. It's great lash. I like this brush. It matters. Holy lashes. Out of love. Okay. Alright, so we're gonna do the other ones. You don't actually have to redip, it's just a thing. I learned that when I was getting my certification, like, you don't actually have to redip. I was like, oh, we believe that you have to redip mascara in order to put it back on. So the eyes are done. That was supposed to be a sexy reveal, but it didn't play that at all. Sorry about that. <laughs> Just saying facts. Foundation. I love this brush. Let's see if it does anything with the red. I'm sorry, that's mostly what I was excited about, but please. I should start putting a timer on my makeup so you can see how long it takes me to do it. For realsies. Of course, after I put foundation on, I feel like putting extra liner. I guess it works! Or I just made it work. I don't know. Good. Needs to be fixed. No problem. I'll fix it in a dip. <laughs> okay. Oh! went over just a little bit and that's fine it's okay to go back through and fix things i just want to lose the intensity and that's where because it's like getting thicker than it needs to be in certain areas i don't want to do it to both sides for no reason there you go that's all it is mostly the stroke it's okay kiddos you can go back through and fix your eyebrows because i was doing good on time but things happen. So I'm gonna go back actually with a concealer for here. Only because there's certain parts I'm just really not getting. So I'm gonna use another angled brush. A bit of concealer. I'm gonna go under. The foundation, look at that. Troubleshooting. Still looks good. Yeah, still looks good. And then, so we're gonna set all of it, the whole thing. I decided not to make my look too heavy, so I'm actually not gonna go in with the eyeliner underneath the eyes after all that drama. It's amazing how well covered up with the red lipstick this is. I want this to last for hours, so you might see me doing it. 
like the look though. I don't know why, but I do. Around the mouth as well. Alright, um, I think that is it for that. In the meantime, going with my blushes. I can do blushes and my, not my highlighter yet, but my blush, yes. Blush, yes. I normally use this one for blush. I'm going to try this brush for blush. One's a little more denser, so I'm going to see if that helps make the color pop. I'm going to actually use the Lumi, so I'm going to try the um, AO AOA Studio Lumi. See that glimmer? So I'm going to see how that looks here as my, as my blush, okay? So I'll put it as my whole face up. Roll it around from here to the ear. So from here to the ear. Keeping it light. If it looks light, I'm doing the right, I'm doing the right thing. I'm also going to for the rest of the face, set it with a nice brown look, keeping it good, keeping it cool. And do a little dust off. I think this is already long enough for my dry skin to be here. Like this, okay? For the bottom lashes, I might actually do it this time to kind of keep it interesting. I usually don't because I kind of fail with them. So <laughs> just a little touch. Yeah, there you go. So back with, with that highlighter that we just used that I love so much. See, this is what I mean by this highlighter is so strong. And that wasn't even a, that much, but it's so strong. Don't worry, I'm gonna go back over it again. Whoops. Let us presume the editor was calling in the middle of the recording, but it's okay. Alright, and that is really the finished look. So the highlighter is on and popping for real. Um, one more thing is uh, lip color. So I'm going to actually go with the black. It's a metallic black. And it's... Um, Called Wander Metal by AOA Studio. Also received from the Shot Misse. I'm not gonna do a hair reveal because uh, I need it for today's event. Sorry. But uh, here is the face reveal right now. <laughs> Hope you like it. Definitely different. Um, you can do a different eye on lip color, of course, instead of this one. You have to go this crazy. Just with a little tip of gold there. Anyway, so I will see you guys soon. I'm definitely packing this with me. I love my <laughs> I love my highlighter. Alright guys, thanks again for watching Asha Adorable and I will see you guys soon.